All right, so I'm going to shoot this video just showing you my whole step process from uh, getting a message to sending them a video and hopefully getting them on a meeting. So right now this guy sent me a message. Since he is a good area and he's a good um, business, I'm going to shoot him a screencast video. So a lot of times I won't do this if I don't think they could potentially be a good customer. But since he's been in business since 2015 and he's in San Bernardino, California, where it's warm all year round and he has a shop, he's my ideal client. So I want to work with him. So I'm going to put a lot of effort into closing this guy. So I told him I'm going to shoot him a video real quick with some tips and tricks to help him kind of show us, show him what we do. So now he says he's in San Bernardino and he does window tinting. So now what I'll do is I'll search San Bernardino window tinting. And I'll say, okay, there's three people up here. They have about 100 reviews. And Yelp is number one organic. And then uh, this guy is the first guy who's not a directory. So I'm going to grab him. And then I'm going to do it again. So window tinting San Bernardino. Uh, and then I'm going to grab the second guy. And then I'm going to search it in again. So I'm going to have my th top three competitors up there, or sometimes I'll just do two. And then I'll have this keyword right here with these three here just to show them it. So now what I'm going to do is pull up this tool called Ahrefs. Where is it? Um, right here. And I'm going to put in three of these. So I'll grab another one. And I'm going to grab this guy. And I'm going to put him in here. And I can see like who he's big. So this is good to show someone like that. And then I'm going to grab the second guy. He's got a shitty ass website, but he's still ranking. So it's doing good. And he's about 120. So nothing compared to the other guy. But the other guy services a couple different areas. So now I'll show him this and then I'll jump down to my screencasting, which is actually the thing I'm making the video on right now. And I will start. But while I'm doing that, I will also pull up his website if he has one. He doesn't have one. All he has is a, uh, a booking calendar. So this is an actual website. So that means it's good. So, I mean, sometimes I will grab their address just to make sure to see if they have a website or a Google business page, but I don't think he does. It uh, looks like he does. Yeah, so he has a, a Google page, which is kind of just shit. So he has a shop though. So this is good. He already has one. He's doing pretty good. So that's good. So now I'll go back over and I'll start the screencast and uh, this is what I'll be showing him now. So I'll come over to his Instagram page usually or his website or whatever he has and I'll have that. So that's the thumbnail. So now, now he knows that we're talking about him. So then I'll be like, hey, I just want to shoot this video real quick with some tips and tricks to help you with the online presence kind of show you an outline of what we do so how we can help you so without further ado I'll get right into it so it looks like you're in a pretty good area San Bernardino and it looks like you got a shop um, I did a little bit of research on the background of you and it looks like you got a Google business page which is good and you got some good reviews um, I took a look at your website it looks like you have a Google website um, but I'm going to kind of show you what your competitors are doing how they're kind of dominating the market and how we can copy them and essentially siphon off their traffic and bring it to you. So without further ado, I'll get right into it. So Tint City, uh, I know they have a couple different locations down by you, actually a lot of locations, but anyway, what they're doing is they have this nice website with a lot of content. So content citations and backlinks is what's going to get you on the top of Google where everyone is searching. So if someone's gonna search window tinters near me, car window tinting near me, RV window tinting near me, whatever you do, if you are not having those keywords in your website, you're not going to show up. So the more content you have, the more value 
and the more Google can match you up with the person searching on Google. So it's not necessarily that you have to have those keywords in your website, but if you have those in your website, Google knows to match that with the person searching on Google. So the more content you have, the better it is. So if you ever notice how Wikipedia always shows up number one whenever you search almost anything non-service related, it's because they got thousands and thousands of words of content, which matches up well with Google. And then they also have backlinks, which I'll mention in a second. So all this on their page is content. So they don't necessarily have, um, so this is actually their city page. So if I come here, so this is their home page. So they have, they have a little bit of content um, and they have all these links are linking back to their other pages. So it's loading pretty slow. But see how they have a pretty good amount of content and they have all these links here are linking to other pages on their website which is essentially the same as having content on your page because Google comes through and it scans your whole website. It clicks on that link, it reads what's on that page and so on. So the more value you have in your website, then the more Google can know to match you up. So if you were to search the best auto window tinder near me and you don't even really mention that in your website, Google's not going to put you up there. It's going to throw your competitor up there. So that's the content side. That's Content's king on Google. There's been a big update. So... We really like to push that and also how you save your pictures. So if I was to um, find, let's say this picture, Some, sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. But uh, yep, so he's talking about window tinting near me or um, specialist window tinting. So he's saving his pictures as keywords, which is what you want to be doing. That's how you can sneak those keywords in there without looking spammy on Google. So that's content. And now we go to citations or uh, backlinks, sorry. So backlinks is a mention of your URL up here inside of other websites. So it's kind of like a, a um, power competition on Google. So the more times someone else is mentioning your website, the more Google knows that you're trustworthy and will put you higher up on Google. So we will go and we will build, we'll put your URL inside of other websites. So niche related. So the more niche related, so anything car related would be great. That's going to put you higher up on Google and you won't have to do it as many times. Well, let's say if you were to put yourself inside Pizza Hut, that's not going to help you because Pizza Hut's talking about pizza and you're talking about tinting. So Google is smart. They know everything. So um, the more niche related you are, the less you have to do, the more powerful your website will be on Google. Um, and there's all sorts of different type of backlinks, but that's not stuff you really need to uh, know because it's, it's quite complicated, but that's kind of the outline of how it works. And then the last one is citations. So... Citations is a mention of your name, address, and phone number throughout directories like Yelp, Angie's List, Sumtrack, uh, Facebook, anything like that, that your name, address, and phone number can go in. And what that's going to do is it's going to put you in this map pack right here, right here. So if I was to search San Bernardino window tinting, that gets 600 searches a month. I'll show you that in a little bit. Anyway, if you're in this number one spot for that, you're going to get almost, so 88% of people click the uh, Google ads. Then they click the map pack and then they click the organic. So if you're in all three of those places, you're going to get almost all 80% of those people. As long as you have good reviews and a nice looking website, there's no reason why they won't call you and ask for a quote. While if you're not even here, no one's going down here to the second, third page of Google to look for a window tinter. If they are, they're looking for a cheap person. So that's why when I say unlimited electric car leads, this is how you do it because this is where when someone's looking for a a uh, Lamborghini to be tinted or something like that. They're going here. They're not going down here. So that's how it works. And it works very, very well. Um, so then we'll go inside here. And what we do is the uh, citations. And then we add pictures. We, um, we get you reviews. We hide those keywords inside reviews. There's We essentially keep you active on Google by posting questions, question, questions and answers here, um, answering reviews, all that stuff triggers algorithm to notice so Google will notice that you're being active and Google rewards being active because it's trying to provide value for users so that's how it works and uh, so a website will bring in a lot of business and then a Google business page will bring you about 30% more business in my personal experience so um, yeah that's the Google organic side so that's just websites and Google business page so you already have a Google business page um, it, it needs a few things that could make it adjust it but um, 
getting that new website in there with the content citations and backlinks is what's going to really help you. So a Google website, they don't really rank very well. I mean, it's just, it, it essentially tells you what you do and it has a couple pictures, which is, it's better than nothing, obviously. But it's not like this where it's a very professional website. People can see you. So it's essentially like your business card online and they can see all the services. They can read a little bit about you and uh, watch videos. Videos are great. I love to push YouTube channels. doesn't matter if you have no subscribers. People will look at your videos. And uh, yeah, that's the side of uh, Google Organics. And then there's the Google Ads side. So I love Google Ads personally. I like to run Google Ads at like a small budget while you're ranking organically on Google. That way, uh, once you stop paying for Google Ads, your Google, your website will still stay up there on Google. But it takes time to rank a website on Google. So while you're running Google Ads, you can be getting traffic to your website, which triggers the algorithm and puts your website higher up on Google. So it's kind of a win-win to do both of them at the same time. And that way you don't have to be waiting for your leads to start coming in. Anyway, I'll show you what the search volume is. So I have this tool called Ahrefs. It tells you kind of what's going on in the background of other people's websites. So this is Tint City right here. Uh, they're bringing about 1.1 thousand people a month on their website. And they're ranking for great keywords. So uh, Window Tinting San Bernardino, 600 searches a month, zero KD. They're in the fourth position. They're not even the number one. Yelp is actually number one. So they're bringing in all 600 of those people. These people are bringing in um, about 20% of that compared to what Yelp is because they're number one. So, um, but yeah, you can see all these different locations that are around you, all these different things. So Tint City, San Bernardino, anything with a keyword and a uh, your service. So your service and location, that's what you want. So yeah, there's a lot going on and they have a great looking website with a lot of backlink citations. They got a lot of trust on Google. Here's another guy. They honestly have a pretty crappy website but it is ranking. Um, they're bringing about 120, but there's a big difference between 1,000 and 120. Um, but then, yeah, so I'll go into Google Ads. I'll search uh, San Bernardino. Uh, I'll put that in, so five million people are in that area. That's great. So now I'll do window tinting. And now I'll see what the search volume is. So look at that. 1,000 to 10,000 people a month are searching for that in San Bernardino. And if you're number one for that, Google Ads and Google Organics, you're going to be getting all those people to your website. So yeah, what we do is we build a landing page, something like this. So um, it has no navigation. It goes directly to whatever service you provide. So this one's window tinting. I have one for car wrapping, ceramic coating, um, and so on. We build a page separately for every service you provide. So it matches what is on your page to the type of ad that you're running. So it helps with the quality score, which in turn lowers the cost per lead on Google because they know to match you up with the user. So a lot of people, they'll run Google ads to their home page and it never really works well because people come on your page and they're like, they, they get lost in your website while they clicked on window tinting near me. And they see, oh, San Bernardino window tinting. Let me call, get a quote. Uh, let me read a little bit about him. Okay, this, this, this. So send a quote. That's that's essentially how it works. It's straight to the point. They don't get lost on your website. Here's another one. Um, these are all clients of mine. And the, these landing pages will work very, very well. And um, typically you can get leads for about 5 to $10. Which, And then there's there's a whole bunch of other things that go into it. But this is essentially the outline of it. And um, if you see, like, you can be bringing in probably, my estimate, you can be bringing five to 10 people a day in with uh, this type of search volume. So um, yeah, I'm not sure what you're doing right now, but there's a lot you can be doing. Uh, let me know if you think this video, and we can hop on a call and uh, talk about it, but uh, let me know. God bless, bye-bye.